Hey guys, welcome back. So let's carry straight on. Um, so another parameter I want to quickly add is this gravity slider to my digital asset. So you can see how that affects the tropism of the of the L system. So the quick way to get back to the type properties, we can just right click on the digital asset here, go down to the bottom there and go to type properties. And that should bring us right back to to where we are. And I'm just again just going to grab that parameter, drop it in, hit apply, that will save it to disk. And I'm going to set the default value to be zero. And then just make sure we are locking these values at something reasonable. So minus 50 to 50 seems to work just fine. So hit apply to save that to disk and we're ready to go. So now that we've got that saved on disk, we can jump over into Unreal. And I've just built a very, very simple basic scene where we can bring in that uh, digital asset and start playing around with it. Uh, so in my content folder, I've just created some um, some folders there, one for digital assets, one for Houdini Engine and one for materials. OK, so what we want to do in the digital assets folder, we want to navigate on disk to where we saved our IV generator. OK, and we can just click and drag. OK, and this um, if you've installed Houdini 18.5 with Houdini Engine, you should see the Houdini Engine plugin installed in the plugins window of Unreal. The um, the one thing you've got to really be careful of is you've got to make sure that the version number is a perfect match. Um, I've had issues before where um, it just refuses to work and it's, it's been using the wrong version of the plugin. So if you update your version of Houdini, chances are you might need to uh, also update your your version of Houdini engine plugin. Um, it's usually rock solid, works really, really well, but that is just one thing to double check. Uh, just make sure you have um, the correct version installed. If you haven't got Houdini engine installed, it's very, very simple. You can just copy the content off the Houdini install folder into your plugins folder in um, the Unreal Engine bit of your hard drive. There's tons of resources online, especially on sideeffects.com that will sort of walk you through the, the installation procedure. But um, you, you should be, um, if you've installed Houdini and, you, and you're an Unreal Engine user, very, very simple to get that set up, but something to look out for there. So if all goes according to plan, you should see the Houdini logo in your content browser. And then we can just drag that out into our scene. And what Unreal is going to do, it's going to make that connection between Unreal and Houdini. And then you can see we've got our Ivy generation tool and our parameters as well. So these are the parameters that we've built on our digital asset. OK, so we can sort of play around with the line length and just give it a few seconds to sort of update and calculate. We can add more leaves into it. And everything goes. I mean, it's even attempted to bring through the uh, the material. It's not done it very successfully. That's fine. We can uh, we can make those changes in in engine. What I'm noticing just from this sort of initial test is that it's far too small. We need to make this much taller. Um, so I'm going to jump back to Houdini and all the way back up in our L system. We just need to change this step size. Um, so I'm going to say the baseline is sort of, uh, I'm imagining sort of some ivy in my, in my head and, and then going back to my reference imagery and sort of looking how much growth these things tend to get and they can get quite wild like in this example here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the baseline um, size about two meters okay so just temporarily I'm going to drop down a box and just put the template flag on that and I'm going to make it two meters tall and then I'm going to center it so it sits on the origin okay so that's if you imagine Two meters is a, is a tall human being. We want our ivy to be sort of roughly along that sort of height. So we can take our step size here and maybe start increasing that a little bit 
a bit too much perhaps so we've got something something like that and we might need to just again once we've changed the size it's obviously going to affect some of the parameters that we've created so we might just need to tweak some of those to get back to where we need to be so I'll set that line length to 2 move it to 30 and sort of pull that up with with a bit of gravity okay so yeah we're getting a nice sort of distribution and also it's sort of of a decent height now because ultimately these lower regions will be hidden in the geometry so we can delete that test box we can go to our assets menu save and then save that ivy generator to disk and then if all goes according to plan if we right click on unreal and then just re-import that And wait for Houdini to do its thing. I'm going to delete that one out. Try again. So we'll drag a new instance of it in. Wait for it to cook. And there we go. We started to get something that's a, a bit more. Um, the size is a bit more reasonable for for what we're sort of looking for. And we can sort of play around with the parameters here. So minus 30. All right, so almost there. What we will need to do is obviously we need to fix the stem. The color of the stem is not really working for us. Uh, the opacity map is not really working for us. So there's a few more steps we need to do. And they, they can be done sort of primarily in engine to get it sort of where we need to be but fundamentally the, the the workflow would be you would sort of drag out your digital asset instances and then position them where you need them to be and then you know maybe play around with some different seed values some different length values to really start creating the, the kind of look that you're going for and then stacking them and layering them together and when you're happy with these you can just bake them out to static meshes in your unreal project okay so with that what i think we'll do is we will make a start on building the material networks for the ivy in unreal in the next video uh, just so we can get a better sense of how this system is working and then we'll move on to fixing the stem so I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.